it's really kind of heartbreaking, I think, when we have, um, you know, people in our community that are more inclined to want to broadcast something very negative and not so much that is negative in its own right, but that somebody's life is um, is in danger. Um, and, um, and, you know, for them to not notify anybody, um, you know, particularly not even a staff member or, you know, and most importantly, you know, to get um, the people you know who need to be the first responders in order to be able to try to provide um you know the uh, first aid necessary in order to 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 keep you know to save someone's life i think it just to me i thought that was uh a little bit just to, you know disheartening at, at best um so i felt like it this is a this is something we we're starting to see more and more of um, and I noted that the example of the event that occurred in Silver Spring, where you had 11 people who actually watched an assault occur, um, and that individual uh, came very close to death in that particular situation, and they did not, nobody from that particular uh, group, neither uh, contacted the police. So I just felt like it's a message that needs to get out to our community um, and to parents to have discussions with young people, um, students, but I think it's also a message for, for our for a community as a whole uh, to, to make sure that they understand the importance of, uh, again, I, I understand, again, I understand, you know, the, the real positives for social media, but this can be, if we're gonna be more focused on filming uh, bad behavior, filming uh, people who are, are getting injured and not getting resources there to try to help save someone's life, then I think we're in a really bad place. But we gotta meet them where they are, right? If they're on social media, then we've gotta to go to social media and find ways to communicate with them to try to talk about these very things that occur in our society, You know, no matter what it is, that if someone needs help, you have a tool available you know, to you that you're utilizing for another purpose, but you know, you know, I'm not saying don't utilize it for that purpose. All I'm asking you is to get them the, the necessary, the people who need it, get them the help that they need as soon as possible, um, that at least help is on the way. And, you know, all of the other things can come after, which I mean, you know, I think, again, we're not looking for you to provide your name. There are ways when you contact, you know, 911, for example, you don't have to leave your name. You can be anonymous, you know, and we, we have text to 911 systems developed now. You know, encourage people to utilize that. Information is key. To stay informed on what's happening in Montgomery County, like, share, and subscribe to our channel.